Hey, good evening, everyone. Well, like you said right there, SoCal Gas wants the Aliso Canyon gas facility to remain open. They want to start drawing from it all over again. Residents, environmentalists, and many others want it closed. They met here today at this synagogue to voice their concerns and hear from some experts. It was just over a year ago, of course, that the state of California shut down the Aliso Canyon gas facility near Porter Ranch following the worst methane leak in history. It was an environmental disaster that drove some 8,000 households from their neighborhoods, many of them suffering from headaches, nausea, nosebleeds, all they say from the tainted air. Now, we met a man today named Dr. Jeffrey Nordella who has been treating patients and studying the health effects from what he believes are reactions to the gas leak. He told community members at today's event that he's just now beginning to see the initial health effects and believes there may be many more for years to come. Uh, initiated the study in January 2016 to look at these patients at depth. 52 of the patients were symptomatic of greater than two symptoms. Uh, could be anything from cherry eyes to bloody noses to hoarseness, congestion, cough, chronic cough, headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, skin rashes, uh, palpitations of their heart, any, any of those symptoms. It's a wide variety of symptoms. And some residents say they are still getting sick. Sick. Many of them want the facility to be shut down permanently. I have a degree in public health. I work for a pharmaceutical company, so I'm basically in medical field. And this is a disaster that needs to stop, and somebody needs to really pay close attention to people suffering for so long and being affected by this. And back here live, uh, you mentioned Senate Bill 57 early, earlier there at the top of the story. I'm sitting here with Matt Pacuco, who's the president of Save Porter Ranch. Matt, uh, I know you are a strong proponent of this Senate Bill. You want this facility to stay closed. Tell us about that. Why are you pushing this bill so hard? Well, SB 57 is very simple. It tells us why. We need to know why that facility blew out in the first place before they switch it back on. If they start injecting again, we don't even know why it blew out. We could have the same thing happen all over again. The place needs to be staged, shut down until at least then, while L.A. figures out and the state figures out from four different energy reports that we actually don't need the facility. You want to, you want to see that facility gone for good? It's not needed. It's nothing personal. <laughs> we don't need the place. It's been proven four times. Only SoCal Gas keeps screaming that they need their facility. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us, Matt. I do appreciate it. Now, I want to mention that we did reach out to SoCal Gas numerous times today, but we did not hear back from them before this report.